Well, in this case, you can get there from here, but it's going to take you a while, especially during rush hour. And businesses are concerned that frustrated motorists won't want to stop. Piper Crawford and her family were having lunch at the distillery today, a block or so north of the main construction, but still very much affected. Try and stay away from it. It's very aggravating. It slows down everything. It takes you to get from here to the hospital. It takes you about 30 minutes if it's busy. Peter Silos is the owner of the distillery. Primarily our lunch business is off. Um, we've noticed uh, some of our regular customers tell us that um, uh, it takes them 20 to 30 minutes to come down Mount Hope Avenue from the south. The folks at Cam's Pizzeria, opened at Mount Hope and Elmwood for just a year and a half, also say their business is being affected. A lot of people can't get into the parking lot. Um, they don't even know that we're open half of the time. A lot of deliveries we have to deliver, but nobody can come in and eat in. It's hard to get in. Just getting through here it takes about 30 minutes. This is all connected to the U of R's College Town, a $100 million project to link this part of the city with the river campus. The city's involvement, about 5.7 million, is rebuilding the road and intersections and a center median. With 30,000 cars a day, the city says this is the most accident-prone section of the highway in the entire county, mostly from people trying to make left-hand turns. But there's good news. The city engineer says the project is ahead of schedule. Most of the uh, things that are going to slow traffic and cause uh, problems getting in and out of the businesses, you know, particularly along the east side of the road, are uh, going to be completed by the end of this year. This college town is a huge development that the university uh, is undertaking, and I think that the net result will be very positive for the whole community and, and all the local businesses in this area. You know, they've got a fix for that left-hand turn thing. The city says there will be one turn signal on this stretch of Mount Hope to allow cars to turn into Starbucks right there in the middle of the block and there will be an access road behind Starbucks so cars can access all those businesses on the east side of the road. That's good news, Don. Yeah, now you say good news but there's also some bad news for the rest of the Mount Hope Avenue. Can you explain that before you go, Ray? Uh, well, this is just phase one. You know how that goes? Uh, phase two will be beyond Crittenden all the way to the city line at Westfall. And they won't do that, though, until after the state does that interchange, that new interchange giving access to the U of R Kendrick Road. So the good news on that is that that won't be until 2015. Yeah, well, that's progress. And sometimes progress gets in the way of your day-to-day -day driving. All right, Ray Lovato, thank you.